Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo, and you've tuned in to another live edition of Perillo Picks. Every day it's a new thing, a something, a something that I'm interested in, or fascinated in, or that I have, or that I want to talk about. It's a show and tell. Wasn't like your favorite part of going to school, show and tell, and recess? Like, if, if that's all school was, school would have been awesome. I still love show and tell. I don't know why. I mean, I, I just like talking about the things that, that I like. And uh, one of the things that I like is uh, something that is probably not a surprise to you, if you know of me. Uh, I have very few favorite artists. Artists that I just love just about everything that they do. Uh, artists that I've actually uh, purchased original works from and and love and showcase. Justin Hillgrove, Imsen Monsters. And, uh, I, in fact, I know I've, I, I've helped him become more discovered. Just, I, I helped people discover Justin uh, by vlogging with him, by showcasing his works. If you watch the vlogs, his art is all over our home. I have uh, some, some of it here in the play, play shop, the first uh, piece of art that, that I got. And I'm talking originals, not prints. I had maybe one or two of his prints, but I decided that, you know, I, if I want, you know, to, to really support an artist, I, I want to purchase their original works. I want to know that Robot City hanging downstairs, um, seen in the vlog all the time, is it's an original. It is, it's huge, but it's the original. So, he is a part, or was a part, of a crowdfunded project, Jung King, and he illustrated the game. So, this is a tabletop game, a card game, and I have not yet opened it. But he was tagged, and that's the only, honestly, I will tell you, it's the only reason I supported this project. The only reason, because Justin Hillgrove was involved. So this is Jung King. I'm going to open it. It just arrived yesterday. I believe in crowdfunding your favorite content producers, and yes, artists to me. I mean, they're not producing content per se, but support the things that you like. Support the things that you love. Support the, the people that you want to see do more. And that, to me, was exactly why I crowdfunded this, why I tend to crowdfund content if I crowdfund anything. I don't crowdfund tech because that's a waste of money, because inevitably uh, the tech is usually, a, 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 it turns out to be junk, not junking, uh, junk. I've crowdfunded too much tech, and it's all been a waste of money. However, crowdfunding artists, not a waste of money. Look at that design. Look at that style. This is very, uh, very indicative of the art you would see from Justin Hillgrove. So, I don't necessarily play these types of games. Um, I would like to. I'd like to get into it. This is one of the things I can't wait to, to, to play with Jedi, one of these types of things. Let's go ahead and open it. Here we go. We've got a coin. Oh, Young King or Jung King limited edition coin. Very cool. I never really got into collecting coins. Some people did. Some people did. Uh, then we have the instructions. This is very important. See, Justin illustrated everything. Like, if I ever had a chance to, to do a project with Justin Hillgrove and uh, to be able to, uh, you know, have him create art for something, I would totally do it, dude. Like, I just his eyes just... The, the very first painting that I saw of his, it was at a Folklife Festival a few years ago, it still hangs outside of my play shop. It used to be in my play shop in earlier tours, you might have seen. I'm not doing any more uh, play shop tours. At least that I know of. Uh, it's hanging outside. It's Party Crasher. It's got uh, characters from He-Man and G.I. Joe and uh, Thundercats. Uh, and I, I, it just caught my eye. I just lo I loved the style. And I ended up getting a print for like 20 bucks, and then ended up, when it, I, I found out that the original was for sale, I had to get it. I had to get it. And it, it hangs. Uh, you know, and I, I'm proud of it. So we have collections. This is, a, this is one of the decks. Separately, we have this. It's a log. Oh, so many uses. He illustrated all of these cards. You know how much time that would have taken? Well, not each, you know, individual card. And then event. So apparently we have three different cards that can be played one on top of the other. I'm just going to go ahead and open one of these decks, if you don't mind. I don't think you do mind. Um, you know, I, I'm always, you know, mindful of new games that come out. I, I'm, I'm big into simplicity. Complexity just is, is a huge turnoff for me. Um... The last card game I think I got and played with regularity was Cards Against Humanity, which you might remember I played with my parents. That was fun. We live streamed that. It was snack time. I think we were trying like new flavors of potato chips when my parents were over here and uh, playing that game. Cards Against Humanity. It's been a while. I, you know, I I I, I can't. I, I don't play it with regularity. I mean, we're not. We don't. When Diana and I have free moments. 
Uh, it's usually we're not playing games right now. I mean, that's probably going to change as, as Jedi gets older. Uh, choose one of your mechanical junk items to play and discard it. Look at these. Each one of these cards has got uh, a drawing or a painting on it. Uh, some people got the original art. I did not. I just crowdfunded uh, uh, the uh, just the deck or just the uh, the game itself. Um, so I couldn't even tell you how to play it. Couldn't tell you. He's actually got original art with these types of characters in it too. Jedi's Room has also uh, uh, got uh, uh, Justin Hillgrove's art all around it. Uh, am I looking for recommendations of table games? Uh, sure, maybe if they're simple, if they're fun. Um, you know, and I, I know a lot of people have, have been really, really happy with uh, a lot of the, uh, the table games that have been released in recent years. It's it's not my thing right now. I don't know if it's ever going to become my thing. This is my thing because it's Justin Hillgrove primarily. I'll be holding on to it, if only uh, to be able to play it with Jedi at some point in the future. Diana and I, we don't we don't necessarily play games together. So this is the Kickstarter limited edition jacket. I backed it. I believe in crowdfunding uh, my favorite artists. If you're a Justin Hillgrove fan, if you're looking for a new uh, game to play uh, for two to six players, ages 14 plus, wow, I'm going to have to wait a long time to play that game. This may be it. Jun King, Yun King, with Justin Hillgrove. A and other people, but Justin Hillgrove. My favorite artist of all time. D I don't, do not pass go, do not collect $200. This, I'm happy to have it, if only because I feel like I supported Justin. And if you haven't seen his art yet, man, the guy is a geek. But I love his style. Love his style. Adore it, you might say. It's everywhere. Everywhere in our house. Everywhere. Uh, thank you for tuning in uh, for another one of my Perillo picks. Uh, I'll have to uh, find a link for you if you want to get your own. And I'm sure it's out there or will be out there in wide release. I don't know if it's available yet for everybody. But I, I will dig up a link for you. I'm going to hold on to the collector coin. It's very, very special to me. You are too. If you ever see something that you think I need to see, show me. If you ever hear about something you think I need to hear about, tell me.